Hi everybody, it's Susie and I just got back from the post office and I received my design team kit for this month from Wild's Orchid Crafts and I'm so excited to share it with you. I have um, opened the box and took a tiny peek and, and got the camera ready. And as you can see, everything comes really nicely uh, wrapped in bubble wrap. So if any of you would be concerned about shipping, don't be. Look how beautiful this is. This is just totally full of gorgeousness. Um, and being that I have it upside down, I just, I'm trying to share with you because I'm using a tripod on the table here. Um, this, these are 24 of the off-white plastic holly berries. Aren't those so pretty for Christmas? Look, you guys, I love that. Thank you so much, Paul and Siri. You're so wonderful. I love everything here. These are so beautiful. These are uh, 25 Dub Gray uh, Mulberry Paper Wild Roses. And these are some of my favorite. I love the way these are scalloped and made so beautifully. I can't wait. I have some really fun projects in mind for the holidays. So I hope that you can stay tuned and see that. Um, these are light mocha uh, small curly flowers just beautiful and please take notice um you guys who watch my channel often will know that i'm a sincere believer that it doesn't matter what colors you're using for whatever project or holiday theme as long as you are able to blend certain colors with other main colors and using your uh collections of papers and other embellishments you can definitely come out with something beautiful and of course, um, red mulberry roses. These are the uh, trellis roses. Just absolutely stunning. These are one and three eighths in size. I'm putting these back in order because I have no room on my desk. Oh, these are the um, red hybrid roses. Just uh, paper tea roses. Just stunning. Look how pretty that is. Can you believe these are handmade? They are so stunning. Very sturdy for those of you who a question. I know a lot of people send me email messages, you know, how do they feel, what do they look like, are they as beautiful as they are on the video, and they are much more beautiful than on the video. Original mulberry paper flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. Gorgeous. Look at this. These are 100 Floral Foundations Pastel Tone Mulberry Paper Rose Buds. Look how pretty those are. And who says you can't do a lavender Christmas? You certainly can. Even a pink one. I know somebody that has a pink Christmas tree. Look how beautiful that is. Look at this. So gorgeous. These are the foundations. The uh, red paper rose buds. Just gorgeous. You can get a hundred of those. Look how stunning that is. WildOrchidCrafts.com, everyone. Beautiful. Cream Hybrid Mulberry Paper Tea Roses. Just absolutely stunning. Hope you're enjoying seeing these items here and sharing my package with me today. It means so much to me to see all of you tune in and comment and ask questions. Uh, open Roses. Just stunning. I can't wait to get into my projects. I have some really cool ideas. I hope you can tune in and share with me uh, what you make and I hope I can inspire you um, for upcoming projects. These are beautiful. 50 of these come uh, semi open roses. Just really pretty. It's um, The color is burgundy like a maroon color. Look how pretty that is. Just beautiful. Oh, these are my favorites. The uh, brown mulberry small curly roses and a chocolate brown. Look at that. One year I made all brown cards and they were stunning for Christmas. Mixed colored mulberry small curly roses. Just beautiful grays and uh, like a taupey-ish orange color and chocolate and white and a mixed pink. Very elegant. There's elegance written all over this. Deep ivory, wild over craft paper roses, just wild roses, just gorgeous, my favorite. I love them so much. 
and I, I, I actually treat them with so much love. It's like no one can ever touch my flowers in my craft room. These are also one of my favorites, the uh, two-tone mulberry brown chocolate roses, FM00431. For anybody that wants to hop on over there and get those, look how gorgeous they are. Light mocha hybrid mulberry tea roses. Just beautiful. I'm really looking forward to some vintage Christmas items, everyone. White hip roses. That mulberry paper, just gorgeous. You get 25 of those. Look at that. And with the whites and the creams and the taupes, anyone that buys those, even the pinks, don't be afraid to use some kind of a glimmer mist or some of you guys use Lindy's or whatever kind of spray. Don't be afraid. Um, to spray your flowers. Look how beautiful. Wow. Those are the really big ones. I have the tiny ones. I've never seen the big ones. Wow. Those are awesome. And you know what I like about these? I'm just going to take one out and show it to you. I know that if you haven't experienced this yet, I have. When you're mailing something, you see that there's that little bit of a width there. That will have to make you add more postage to your envelope. So um, if you put your card in and just keep pressing down a little bit, um, they get kind of flat a little, and so you may not have to pay extra postage, but imagine that on a card. And for those of you who are not card makers, because I have people sending me messages like, Susie, I really want to make a Christmas card. I really want to make um, a love card or whatever, and, and, and I, I'm not a card maker, but I want to put flowers on it. Who says you can't just put this on the front of a white or a red card. Just glue it right down. Boom. A little bit of stickles on there. A stamp that says Merry Christmas. And there you have an original Christmas card. So, if you're looking for inspiration or any ideas, please, please send me a message. I'm also on Facebook under Susie Crafter. And look at these beautiful, beautiful crown pins. I absolutely love these must share with you live because I've been making some serious hat pins and um, these are just lovely. Oh my goodness. Look at them. And we, you know, um, Wild Orca Crafts is um, so thoughtful and generous uh, to the design, design team members and, you know, uh, they actually um, allow us to go in uh, and select a few things off of a wish list for the items that we want to make next. So, I'm just going to quickly zoom on that. Look how gorgeous that is. Oops. Sorry. That's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Love that. And I mean, these are so, so pretty. I mean, I don't know if anyone has seen any of mine, but imagine taking some of, of these beautiful little beads and adding them in and, and, you know, doing like a silver and white Christmas with some of these really, really pretty um, Christmas uh, flowers here, the poinsettias, and, you know, using some of these pins, just totally stunning. Really a great idea. And you can use them not only for craft ideas, but... Certainly, I mean, if you're a mother of a bride and you want to use this pin to pin on your corsage, I mean, who says you can't, right? A pin is a pin. So, anyway, this is my design team um, package for this month. And, um, just checking to see if I missed out on anything. No, I didn't. And I hope that you like everything that I have received. Um, I cannot wait to get started. I am totally excited uh, for um, you guys to uh, check out and see what I'm going to be making with some of my beautiful flowers from Wild World Crafts. And again, thank you so much, Paul and Siri. You guys are totally awesome. I really appreciate this opportunity that you have given me over the past, the course of the past year. Um, the middle of December is one year that I'm with Wild Orchid Crafts, and I have enjoyed every moment of it designing with their beautiful, beautiful flowers and other embellishment products for crafting, crafting and home decor, and then some with the wearable art that I've been making. And so, um, I mean, they're... Their flowers are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I, my last design team kit, I was having a lot of problems, but just to quickly show you, this is the rosette trim 
I mean, look at that, the organza rosetrum. I made some flowers, and, and I had even made, if you um, have ever seen, just really quick, as my battery's dying, any of these from Wilds Oak Crafts, and these are the 28 Mixed Color Large Pearl Brads. Okay, you can make your own flower centers with those brads, just like I did right there. Just absolutely stunning. I've been making some of these. Um, I may be doing some giveaways, so, and I don't want to tell anybody exactly what I'm giving away, but just to give you an idea what the rosette trim looks like. It's absolutely so very beautiful. Um, just quickly wanted to show you the last one, so hope everybody's doing well today. Have a great day. Bye.